Hey, what's up guys? It's Claudio here and we're back at the Herbalife Criterium. This is a four or five good old fashioned crit race, 30 minutes long. Um, it's a lot of fun, this course. The wind plays a huge role and we're back. I'm back here since last year and we saw a lot of videos at this course. It's great for beginners. It's great for everyone. It's got this little hill. It's got um, this big section where you're not sheltered. But um, anyways, I'm back here and um, I'm feeling kind of, I mean, I felt good in the warm up, but um, I'm starting to get the feeling that I am losing some of my top end race fitness. And um, I just felt like I peaked with my plan, my train road plan, I peaked and then I tried to sustain that peak as long as possible. Now I'm just coming down naturally. So I've got, um, I've got my new vegan cyclist kit. By the way, that thing is awesome. It's super aero and it's just such a good quality. I'm really happy to have it. But I also have all the vegan excuses, right? So, you know, I, I didn't do well in this race. I felt, like I, was, I felt like I was just struggling. And I wanted to conserve. It's like you want to conserve, but you also want to be in the race. But if you conserve and you're in the back and you're not paying attention, then you miss opportunities and um, all these excuses, right? So my biggest excuse, um, oh man, you can see how strung out it is already, gaps everywhere. Um, I came from uh, a recovery week, I had a recovery week, then I had my big crash at the end of that, you guys saw that video. Then after that crash, it took me out for two days, and then I was back racing, did well, then I caught a cold, took me out for three days, and so I, basically for two weeks, I had like just two days of intensity. Otherwise I was either off the bike or doing like 150 watts. So that's my excuse number one. I just haven't had that much intensity in the last two weeks. And I felt it, man. I felt my top end, my ability to surge, it was just like limited. And I was kind of, um, I was kind of scared to push it, you know, to crank it out. You guys saw it at the beginning of the season. I was, I was dropping these 800 watt bombs left and right like nothing, but my legs did not have that at this race or right now. I raced again after this and that was like a whole nother thing. You guys are gonna watch that, that video coming soon. I even got dropped, I got dropped. Um, but anyways, so my excuse was I was uh, off the bike a little too much and um, just trying to play catch up, you know, was, Writing my fumes, my fumes of fitness, whatever I had left over. And then also my excuse was uh, there's just strong people in this race. Like this is the four or five race and the, the type of strength that's in there. L okay, I'm moving up. This is good. Nice move when it slows down. The amount of strength in, this, in these categories, these beginner categories, is insane. Because people, you know, we talked about this. People haven't upgraded in a year. So there's people that are like, as strong as cat threes, maybe cat twos in these, in these um, beginner races. And I'm moving up, good job. Good job, Claudio. By the way, I checked out the upgrade situation. My upgrade situation, I can basically upgrade to a cat three right now. I figured it out. Because I've had, um, I've had 20 pack finishes, at least 20 pack finishes documented. I don't know how you tell people this, the USA cycling people, or you get 20 points or you have to have 20 points in 36 months and the point system is like a whole thing. Just go to the website. Here's what it looks like. And by the way, I noticed that the novice category, in order to be a cap four, all you need to do is just upgrade. Just say that you want to be a cap four. Apparently. It used to be like um, you just do 10 races and then you can go. You had to do 10 races. I didn't realize that it was voluntary upgrade at will. So you can have you can have a cap four race and have literally somebody that just raced once or maybe no, no races, I guess. All right, we got attacks. Let's go. And you can see I'm going backwards. I just don't have a, I don't have the snap. I don't have the the will to do that, but it's OK. I know that I can slot in. <coughs> I can slot in, but already, you know, like I'm not, I, I didn't snap enough and you see the strong riders up there. And I know that they're there. 
and it's not good. I'm just, uh, I'm dangling back here, trying to uh, conserve. But look at those gaps already. It's getting strung out. Look at this. It fans out and it's getting strung out. It's single file and um, this is not good. This is not good. I'm counting on it to come back to right here. This is like a, a heavy headwind and it does come back kind of. It slows down, it hits everybody. Well, it's not slowing down actually. It hits everyone, there we go. But look, already there's somebody trying to break away. There's gonna be another surge. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm riding on, on these fumes and look at this gap already getting gap. This is painful stuff right here. I just feel like I am, I'm coming back down from my peak, my early, real early peak, which was conscious. And now I need to build up again. And that's fine, that's normal. You can't just peak forever, right? And my peak wasn't, uh, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool, but it wasn't, it's like the first little peak of the season, I hope. I hope this is not like the peak of my, of my entire season. Wow, gap, huge gap. And you can see I'm struggling. This is not how I rode, you know, a month ago. This is like uh, danger getting dropped. This is how you get dropped in a race right here. You don't close it and already my heart rate is 180, which is it's higher, but it was uh, it was in the 80s as far as the temperature was. Like, come on, close it, close it down. And I'm good, of course, I, I, I pull the trick where I just, I keep pedaling a little bit and so I make up some ground. And this saved me. Just keep pedaling even if it hurts, but don't coast. So I am, I'm just in there, I'm figuring out that, you know, I don't have that, that snap in my legs, but that's okay, you can still grind it out. I have enough fitness from base training, just like my aerobic engine is working and I can just grind it out, but I have to be smart. I can't be in the wind. I can't do anything stupid. I can't just go off attacking for no reason. <clears throat> we're gonna see what happens here. Um, what, were, what were the stats? Normalized power, 251. Average speed, 22.8. It's not a fast race, though. Well, it's because I, I missed it. I Already there's two people up the road, it looks like, and people are trying to bridge. <clears throat> but I can barely see that. I'm probably not even paying attention to that. I'm just trying, I'm struggling. I'm hurting. I remember this was like a hard race. <clears throat> um, it, felt, it felt like a struggle. And I raced a 3-4 after that, and there's a break right there. And that's, um, I believe that's gonna stick. There's gonna be a couple people that bridge up to it right here, but it's not, I can't do that, I don't have that. You can tell I'm working here. I'm trying to get up there. But those two riders were the ones that bridged, and we, and maybe that one. And that's the break. Missed the break, just hanging out in the back. Just like that, and for me, I felt like I got dropped. Because the break, I mean, that's like half the field almost. Um, maybe there was only like five or six people up there. But I felt like that's the race. When you miss the race like that, man, it's disappointing. It's annoying. It's like I shouldn't be missing those kind of moves. I've, I've been doing this already for a minute, you know. I, I should know better. I should be strong enough. I am strong enough. Even if it's not a good day for me, I could have done it but I didn't race smart enough <clears throat> and um, I missed it. I totally missed it. I, I got dropped basically. We are, we're the group here that kind of got dropped and we're trying to bridge and we, we do, we do put some, some effort in there. Me and this guy right here. We want to get up there and it's not that hard, but man, to close that down by yourself and, and those guys up there you know there's like at least three really strong riders like the strongest riders in three or four strongest riders in this whole field are in there so they're gone i think a few people might pop off but that's it you know i'm at 100 bpm i'm hurting 
And let's see what I say. Do I, do I take a pull here? Do I do anything? I do something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I try to go for it. This is me going for it. And then I'm like, oh, no. Oh, the junior's here. I can't. Yeah, I don't want to trample the junior, so I shut it down for a second. And, uh, and that's it. We got dropped. Got dropped. And we just try to... I work together with this guy. <clears throat> we take some pulls, and at some point I'm like, dude, let's do like three laps really hard and see what we can do. And we tried to do like one lap, and then we got, uh, we got wasted. So then we, we come back to the field here. And we just ride this field, the, the chase group, whatever you want to call it. And we ride it, and eventually, um, eventually we get lapped by the field. We get lapped, and then I, I think I push away. Yeah, I push away from the, the chase group, because I don't want to sprint them. I don't feel like sprinting them, and I just I, I, I pull away. And you can see there's a, the main group up there. We already got lapped. And uh, it's one lap to go. And then they, there they are. They're setting themselves up. They know it's going to be a field sprint. And I pass them because I just don't want to sprint with the back group. And I tell them, hey, I'm one lap down. I'm one lap down. <laughs> and, um, and there they go for the sprint. So I'm basically, I, I got seventh, basically, I think. And that's it, guys. This is me running on fitness fumes. All the excuses, whatever they're going to be, I'm building back up. I'm building the back, uh, my fitness up to, to kind of peak again, sort of like in June, July. Let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Follow all my workouts at my Instagram stories, Claudio underscore Fierro. I'll see you out there. Peace.